Oh, oh yeah, trusted. It's good shit. You're gonna be okay. We'll get some help here. There's also some people saying that Kara looks like Jennifer Lawrence, and that seems very unfair. Uh, to Kara, I mean, not to uh, Ms. Lawrence. This is the place. Like, Kara doesn't look perpetually confused. And if she did, it would make sense because she is an android. I'm treading over my words today a bit. <sighs> Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. You know, you look like a Zlatko, but you don't sound like one. Come in. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. I don't trust you, dude. Are you a cannibal? You seem like a cannibal. I played Telltale games, I know how this works. Make yourselves at home. Well, if you find a safe place, it's always full of cannibals. This is true in video games and indeed in life. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Devian, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's, that's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours. And then you'll both be safe. That doesn't sound right. Come on. Follow me. If she had a tracker, at least uh, would have caught her by now. Wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. I'm gonna go down to the basement and he's gonna eat us. Alright, come on Alice. It seems like he mostly eats androids, which I suppose makes him technically not a cannibal. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Really not gonna let me leave, huh? Just gonna follow him into his cannibalism dungeon. To remove a tracker we don't have. Please excuse the mess. 
I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Hey, kid. What can you say? Come on, Alice. Ominous. This way, please. Yep, this looks like a cannibal lab. Over there. Where cannibals do things. Alright, let's get eaten. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Told you he was a cannibal. He's technically not. That wants to be a mother. That's, that's uh, so sweet. In the spirit of things he is. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. And yeah, I'm sure you have a really tragic backstory, mate. You're better off being raised and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Carl, wake up, Carl! Meet me in the living room. Before or after we get reset, mate? That does not appear to have helped us.
I shan't help you. Oh, good thing you spelled out that message for me, Cage. Never would have gotten it otherwise. A real pal, Dave. Ah, uh, dude, you, got, you don't got any arms. Rough. Rough buddy. Kara, not for nothing, but I would appreciate you moving a little faster. Well, you're not Alice, but you'd make a good pet for her. Cage okay, is a bad idea. Oh, 
running out of time. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't realize I would be wasting time just reading a magazine. You can still hit people with it. I think not. Great, we have loads of time to get out and to release the bear. He's seen us now, he can't be allowed to live. That's just how it's gotta be. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, Lockwood. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Should have released for there.
I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only wanna talk. There you are! I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Should have opened that cage. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Oh right, we did open those cages, didn't we? What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. Let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like it's possible to actually not escape before being reset, and you get a whole different story path if you do eventually lead to searching for Alice again.
You know, this isn't a very efficient way of setting up meetings. Oh yeah, I'll be somewhere in the massive, sinister garden. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary. But it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. I don't trust you, Amanda. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Amanda, are you an android? Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. What a good dog.
Were you playing Russian roulette? Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! No one makes noises like that. Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hmm. Stripey. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today. She demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Why is Russia invading the Arctic? Makes no sense. What does it hope to get there?
Well, that's not surprising. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. This was a pretty linear one, okay. Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. I was kind of just running directly into their line of sight. Actually, given my usual stealth performance in this game, that's not too far from the truth, probably. Watch out! Now what do we do? I'll find another way. You say leave it to you as if you have a plan, but I don't have a plan.
Marcus, you all right? Nothing I can't handle. Nice work. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Yeah, I did kind of look like an idiot there. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Right, that solved that problem. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Yay, hey, Josh, do you like me again? Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. There's a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. And Josh hates us again.
Oh, well, fine. We'll murder him later. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Mike's still in. Zone 4. Looks like it. But he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Smoothly done. Did you get it? Nice.
Get in. Do not make me do a driving section. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here androids are free. Free to live in the dark hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! We did steal the truck for the parts, didn't we? Probably would have been better that we hadn't killed that guy. But never mind. Okay, we're going to leave things there for today. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.